numericals on mirror formula. Question number one. If you are sitting in a parked car, you notice a jogger approaching towards you in the rear view image of the radius of curvature 2 meter. If the jogger is running at a speed of 5 meter per second, how fast is the image of the jogger moving when the jogger is 39 meter? Part B, 29 meter. So let's try to solve it. Here we are given radius of curvature r equal to 2 meter. Since it is a rear view mirror, it means it is convex mirror. So its focal length will be positive. So f equal to r by 2, that is 1 meter. Now we use mirror formula 1 upon v plus 1 upon u equal to 1 upon f. We are given u equal to 39. So u equal to minus 39 meter and f is 1 meter. So we can put the values. So 1 upon v minus 1 upon 39 equal to 1 upon 1, which will give 1 upon v equal to 1 plus 1 upon 39, which will become 40 upon 39, implies v equal to 39 by 40 meter. Now, It is moving with a speed of 5 meter per second. Means Jova is moving with that speed. So after one second, what will be the situation of object? Here, after one second, U will be after one second. The jogger will cover 5 meter. It means, suppose, this was earlier 39. So after one second, this five meter will be covered. So 39 minus five means 34 meter will be left. So new U will be minus 34 meter. Now we have to find out corresponding V for this value of U. So we evaluate it. So again, we are going to make use of the formula. So 1 upon V plus 1 upon U equal to 1 upon F. So suppose this is this time it is V dash minus 1 upon 34 equal to 1 upon 1. So from here, it will become one upon V dash equal to one plus one by 34. That is 35 by 34. So V dash equal to 34 by 35. So change in position of image in one second will be V minus V dash. So we, we have got 39 by 40 and the V dash we have got 34 by 40. So we find the difference 39 by 40 minus 34 by 35. So it will come out to be 1 upon 280 meter. So we can say this will be the speed. So speed of image will be 1 upon 280 meter per second. Now let's consider second part so that thing can become very clear. So Here, 
suppose we consider initially u equal to minus 29 meter and f is given as 1 meter. Now we try to find out v and then after one second nu u will be suppose this becomes u1 so the jogger will cover 5 meter further so it will become minus 24 meter and f remaining same we will find out v1 and then difference in two position in one second of the image we will give the speed so let's evaluate the two parts so for first part 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equal to 1 upon f. So we put the values 1 upon v plus 1 upon minus 29 equal to 1, which will give 1 upon v equal to 1 plus 1 by 29, which will be 30 by 29. So v will be 29 by 30 meters. Now, after one second, situation will be suppose you will so jogger will cover five meter so it will be minus 29 plus five so it will be minus 24. now again we apply formula to get v1 so one upon v1 plus one upon u1 equal to one upon f so one upon v1 equal to one minus here it will become plus 24. So this is 25 by 24. So from here we get a V1 equal to 24 by 25 meter. Now these are two positions of image after one second. So speed of image will be the difference of these two values. So we find speed in one second that is v2 sorry v minus v1 in one second that will give the speed so v is 29 by 30 minus 25 by 24 so if we simplify it will come out to be 1 upon 150 meter Per second. I think you must have understood. Now let's go to second question. Second question says a five centimeter long needle is placed 10 cm from a convex mirror of focal length 50 centimeter. Find the position, nature, and size of image of the needle. What happens to the size of image when needle is moved further away from the mirror? So let's see. Here, we are given H1 means size of object that is 5 centimeter. And uh, distance of object is given as U equal to minus 10 centimeter. And it is convex mirror. So its focal length will be plus 40 centimeter. Now we apply mirror formula. So 1 upon V plus 1 upon U equal to 1 upon F. Our concern is to find V. So 1 upon V equal to 1 upon F minus 1 upon U. Implies 1 upon V equal to 1 upon 40 minus U is already negative. So it will become plus 1 upon 10. So this will become 5 by 50 which is 1 upon 8. So from where we get V equal to 8 centimeter, which is positive. Now V is positive. It means image is virtual and erect. And definitely it will be found on the side of the, or behind the mirror. Now we find magnification M equal to H2 upon H1 or minus V upon U. So minus v means minus 8 divided by u, u is minus 10. So it will be 
positive 0 0.8, which is diminished. Now we have to find out size of image. So H2 upon H1 equal to minus B upon U or magnification. So H2 equal to H1 times magnification. So H1 is 5 and magnification is 0 0.8. So this will give 4 centimeters, which are so. Here, what happens to the size of image when needle is moved further away from the mirror? So as the needle is moved further away from the mirror, the image shifts towards the focus and its size goes on decreasing. When the needle is far off, it appears almost as a point image at the focus. Now, let's go to third question. Third question says, an object is placed in front of a concave mirror of focal length 12 centimeter. These, there are two possible positions of the object for which the image formed is three times the size of object. Draw the ray diagrams and find the distance between two positions. So let's find out the magnificence first. So we know that magnification m equal to minus v upon u. If we express it in terms of f and u, then magnification becomes m equal to f upon f minus u. Here we have information f is focal length is minus 12 because concave mirror. So minus 12 and object distance is uh, u, so we write it as minus u, but magnification is given as three times. So it can be positive three and negative three. So we write it plus minus three. So from where? We can get two values of u. So if we consider plus 3, so minus 12 divided by minus 12 minus u equal to 3. So we can simplify minus 12 equal to minus 36 minus 3u, which gives 3u equal to minus 24. from here u equal to minus 8. Now when we consider magnification minus 3, so minus 12 divided by minus 12 minus u equal to minus 3. From here we get minus 12 equal to 36 plus 3u, which will give 3u equals minus 48 or U equal to minus 16 centimeter. So we have got two positions when u equal to minus 8 and when u equal to minus 16. Now we can draw the two diagrams. So first situation when u is minus 8, it is less than focal length because focal length is 12. In that case, image will be virtual and erect and it will be on the other side. And when u equal to minus 16, then image will be real and inverted. So I'm drawing the diagram. The two situations are shown here when object is at minus 16 centimeter means u is minus 16 in that case object is here this focus so image is formed here and when object is at 8 centimeter means 
distance less than, view is less than F. In that case, virtual and erect image is found on the other side of the mirror. Now let's consider next question. Question number four. Question number four says, a concave mirror forms a real image of an object kept at a distance of nine centimeters from it. If the object is taken away from the mirror by six centimeters, the image size reduces to one fourth of its previous size. Find the focal length of the mirror. So we are given u equal to minus nine centimeters. And if you remember, magnification in terms of f and u is given by f upon f minus u. So we can put the values. So I'm putting the value m equal to f divided by f divided by f minus u. u is minus 9. So it will become f plus 9. Now, if the object is taken away from the mirror by 6 centimeters, it means new u means suppose it is u1. So it increases by 6, 9 minus 6, that is minus 15 centimeters because it is taken away. So distance increases. So u1 equal to minus 15. This time magnification from same formula m dash equal to f divided by f plus 15. But in our question, it is given that m dash is 1 by 4 of m. So we can put these values. So f divided by f plus 15 equal to 1 by 4 of f upon f plus 9. So these two f will cancel out and we will get 4 times f plus 9 equals f plus 15. We open the bracket. 4 f plus 36 equal to f plus 15 or 3 f equal to 15 minus 36, which is minus 21. So f will be equal to minus 7 centimeter, which is our answer. Let's go to next question. Two objects P and Q when placed at different positions in front of a concave mirror of focal length 20 centimeter form real image, image of equal size. Size of object P is three times the size of object Q. If the distance of P is 50 centimeters from the mirror, find the distance of Q from the mirror. So we know that magnification is given by H2 upon H1. In terms of F and U, it will become F upon F minus, suppose we consider first case U1 part P, so F minus U1. So this is for object P. Now for object Q, M equal to, suppose we write it H2 dash divided by H1 dash equal to same formula F upon F minus, suppose this time object distance is you know, for object Q. Now, since magnification is same, it is given because they form real image of equal size. It means M upon M dash, this is suppose M dash, will be equal to H2 upon H1 multiplied by H1 dash divided by H2 dash must be equal to F minus U2 divided by F minus U1. F will cancel out. Now, we are given 
H2 equal to H2 dash because H2 equal to H2 dash and size of P is equal to is three times the size of Q. That is H1 equal to three times H1 dash. So these values we can put and also if the distance of P is 50 centimeters from the mirror, it means we are given U1, U1 equal to minus 50. So one more information is given. If focal length, when placed a different position in the particular concave mirror of focal length, focal length is 20 centimeter, it means F is also given as 20 centimeter. It is concave mirror, so minus 20. So let's write these information here. So M upon M dash. So size of we write from here. So H2 equal to H dash. Here H2 is equal to H1 equal to 3. So H2 equal to H2 dash. So where is H2? This is H2. This is H2 dash. They will cancel out. And H1 equal to 3 H1 dash. So this equal to 3 H1. So H1 dash divided by H1 is 3 H1 dash equal to f is minus 20 minus u2 so u2 is to be found divided by f f is minus 20 minus u1 u1 is minus 50 so because of this minus sign it will become plus 50. so from here in LHS, 1 by 3 will be left. 1 by 3 equals minus 20 minus U2 divided by minus 20 plus 50. So this will become 30. So 30 upon 3 equal to minus 20 minus U2. This will become 10. So we take this 20 minus 20 to LHS. So it is 10 plus 20 equal to minus U2, which implies U2 equal to my from here minus sign we can set to LHS. So U2 equal to minus 30 centimeter, which is our answer. Thank you for watching.